it's growing. The boy. Peach, you idiot. The peach, the peach. Oh, look at him yum! Uh, that looks like a BBL. That looks like a really <laughs> bad, a really bad BBL. BBL that you got somewhere in Mexico. What a peach! So this is a movie about a British BBL. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't get shot. This week's episode of Two Freckled Friends is brought to you by Pumpkin Spice. It's that time of year again, and I hate pumpkin spice. I prefer apple cider. I do enjoy a nice cider, but pumpkin spice, oh, you know the Karens are living their best life. Welcome to Starbucks. What can we get started for you today? Is pumpkin spice back on the menu? Mm-hmm. Hold on, crackhead is outside yelling. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl, Allie. And Brooke. We appreciate you tuning in to a brand spanking new episode of Two Freckled Friends. If you like your pumpkins plumped to the top, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that beautiful button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. Friends, this week, it may not have as much pumpkin spice going on, but it's definitely going to be having a lot of the other P. And I'm not talking personality either. Brooke, why don't you tell the good folks out there what we're watching this week? Today, we are watching Walt Disney's 1996 James and the Giant Peach. I love the movie. I haven't seen it in a solid 25 years. I read the book first. Nasty ass aunts in here, though. I do remember reading the book with the fourth grade class. The movie used to scare the absolute bejeebas out of me. I haven't seen it in quite some time. Frickin' British royalty in the land of acting. You're talking about that plants professor from Harry Potter as well as homegirl from Absolutely Fabulous. 20 years since Harry Potter came out and your balls have dropped since then. I can tell you that. Piss off! Hey, darling, 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 how do I look? How do I look? How do I look at it? I think I can see a panty line there. I'm ready. What? I'm not wearing any pants. <gasps> if you're brand new to our channel, what Brooke and I are going to do is we're going to watch James and the Giant Peach. We'll give our own thoughts, and from those thoughts, we will provide this movie with its official freckle score. So, without further ado, hopefully it's not too scary watching this in the daytime. Wink, wink. It is the one, the only, James and the Giant Peach. Let's roll it! All right, here we go. And three, two, one, lay. Can I eat my cheese? It's now. Oh, it's a ladybug. Am I crunching in your ear? You're always crunching in my ear. That sucks. Yeah. This is James Henry Trotter. This green screen is terrible. He lived with his mother and father in a cozy little house by the sea. Hey, I've got ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was in Desperate Housewives. Let me prove to you how much I love you. I like to be dominated. Huh? Sexually. Huh? I'll make a wish first. But why is it so fuzzy? It was a wonderful life. They had each other and they had their dreams. That cloud looks like a camel. And can you see the tallest building in the world? I can't find it. Try looking at it another way. You're on the beach. I see it. In a collared shirt and sweater vest. Great ship that will take us across the ocean and we'll go right to the top of that building on top of the world. That's where everybody wants to go, right? When was the last time the Empire State Building was the tallest building in the world? One day, a terrible thing happened. Angry rhinoceros appeared out of nowhere, gobbled up his poor mother and father. 35 seconds flat. Hey, break out the London Zoo? For now, he lives here. Aunt Sponge. Get up! And Aunt Spiker. Lollygagging in dreamland. <laughs> so much work to do. Work, 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 work! But are these his great aunts or are these the siblings to his mom or his dad? <laughs> Torpedo bra. Paint's not gonna save that fence, young man. Tim Burton! I do declare. Observe my shapely nose. My dainty toes. My dearest sponge, how much your tummy shows. I see no sun. There's some bathing with no sun. They're vampires, I don't know. Sun. 
Who told you to stop working? A travel book? How dare you even dream of leaving? This set is killing me. I told you it's cheap as shit. This is the only home you'll ever have. Disney, come on now. Where did you get this? Father gave it to me. He said we'd go there one day. Foolish man, always dreaming, got him killed. And your mother. He you never even saw that rhino. That rhino. That rhino. <laughs> exactly, you better do an accent. Get back to work. England, they sure did love child labor. They did? <laughs> like, who's cooking all this? Is he cooking? he cooking? I finished all of the chores. We finished all the dinner. There's something special in the oven. Why is she so skeleton-like? <laughs> They're not good enough for him. I know that's not what y'all ate. What do you think this is? Buckingham Palace? Okay. Get out of our sight! I bet you they don't have men. Actually, you know what? I take it back. They probably do have men. <laughs> Women peak older mm -hmm. uh, sexually and 36. men peak uh, mm -hmm. younger. 18. So do the math. You need some protein, some vitamin D, all the things. That is a prison cell. Ain't got one window like that? Roald Dahl loved a story about a poor boy making his way out. You probably shouldn't build your web up here in the window. Bike and Sponge might see you. you. hate spiders. I'll be your friend though. My name. Well, they're playing with the Black Widow. The enzymes in the venom break down the insides of their prey and they basically drink it up like a milkshake. If you have arachnophobia, this is not the spider for you. Why do I remember this? La, 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 la. Uh. Look at the crayons! Inside my head. Using the potato chip bag as paper. Oh man. Here's something I've never shown anyone. When you gotta talk to the spider. Now the damn spider. Yeah, this is trigger memories. Excuse me? Very, very far away from here. Yeah. Far away. People in the city. Why is that fireplace tilted? James isn't his a lovely day. What the fuck? And you know it's unfortunate and it's not the child's fault. He can never get that house clean enough. That spider web is as big as North and South Dakota. He's got some good folding skills. You see those crease lines? It's like a little lantern. Pleasant dreams. Aww. Oh, <laughs> Why are you in my room? Wait, what are you hitting him for? <laughs> oh, Lord? <laughs> get it! Get it! Up, oh, home alone! <laughs> Marv, what are you doing? Come on. I G so How do you like it, huh? You jerk! She just hopped right off. You hit me in the face. <laughs> it's as far away from this place as you possibly can. I wish I could. What's stopping you? <gasps> oh shit! Okay. I mean you know how. How do you know my name? What would you say? The answer to all your troubles is right here. Inside this little bag. So this is his fairy godfather? You must be. Your fairy godmother? Of course. There's more magic in them things than all the rest of the world put together. You got magic maggots? What are they? One thousand slimy crocodile tongues boiled in the skull of a dead witch. Witch. Fingers of a young monkey, the gizzard of a pig, three spoonfuls of sugar. Stew for a week and then... Sugar. The moon. Do the rest. Marvelous things will happen. You'll never be miserable again. You weren't meant to be, you know. Those are not crocodile tongues. <laughs> Look like the corkscrew pasta. Exactly. How do you have corkscrew <laughs> pasta? It's Fusilli Jerry. It's made from Fusilli pasta. New York City. That much closer. Take the first step. A glow-in-the-dark corkscrew and a Orville Redenbacher popcorn bag. I'm not doing this. What'll it be? <laughs> Don't let them get away. They'll work their magic. Whatever they meet first. Where'd he go? Dang. Where'd they go? What's going on out here? Your little noodle, there they go. That's a new version of al dente. Would you want to eat it though? Hell no. Here he is. Eat up, you little worm. Lays about. Lays about. Beat him, Sponge. It's too early. It's very timber. Why are we just now realizing that? The set is like Earl Grey tea. I always figured that tea was just going to taste like hot brown water. And you know what? I was right. Yeah, it's horrible. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Spiker, look, a peach on that branch. Well, I'll be blowed. I'll be blown. There really is a peach there. There is a peach there. Nice big one, too. too. Can we get it? The boy. The boy. Now you bring that ass on over here. Why don't y'all just let it grow? We'll share it. Me and your Aunt Spiker. That's Spiker. <laughs>
Wait, it's growing. The boy. Peach, you idiot. The peach, the peach. Oh, look at him yum! Uh, that looks like a BBL. That looks like a really <laughs> bad, a really bad BBL. BBL that you got somewhere in Mexico. What a peach! So this is a movie about a British BBL. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't get shots. Marvelous things will happen. Keep away from it. Smell that. Spiky. Spiky. It smells like money. Y'all ain't got money to clean the house, but y'all got money for that side. Look at the wigs. Can we touch it? You want to touch it? Should be wanting to taste it. Admission refused. Go away. Mm. The door, Griffin. It will cost you double. May God forgive you. Thank you, brother. Oh, you're all spiffed up. Happen to play with the children. Children have gone. You can play with their garbage. <laughs> Don't even think of going near our peach. They never did catch that rhino. That rhino. James, no disrespect. Get some food, bro. I'm understanding now that the aunts more than likely killed his parents. Because, like, they're joking about it. I'm gonna need you to channel your inner over the hedge and fill this log. We fill the log! Cave-like log all the way to the top. Wait. What did his aunts do all day? This is when James realized he was a butt man. Oh. This is exactly like BBLs when they start leaking. This is why we need to test what the hell's in our food though. I ain't mad, he ain't got shit. It's either that or the odds. At least it's a tiny house that tastes good. Where do you think you're going yet? I gotta take a look around. No one's going to smoosh you. Now I'm getting my Tim Burton sensation. <laughs> it's Trevor! <laughs> it's Spiker and Sponge! <laughs> it's the lad from the house. It's James. <laughs> Eat me. No one will be eating you, James. Yeah. Now that I realize this centipede is a New Yorker, two freckles. <laughs> <laughs> We've all changed. Marvelous things will happen. Marvelous pigs in satin. Sure did. Marvelous things will happen. I, however, have exquisite hearing. <laughs> Let's get out of here! So why not get me? Never let catch that right now. Lived on this miserable hill for decades. No rhinoceri. Yeah. If you've been stuck here too long, I know a place that will refresh your memory. The centipede's head is a BBL. Big city, that's where we gotta go. That's the life for me, yeah. You little maggot, have you never seen the moon? Look at Brooke Solo. And she just called him a maggot to his face. I'm gonna start doing it. A dead oak tree by the water side. Putrid veins. Rising. <coughs> a little park right in the center of the town. <laughs> okay, the glowworm in the background. Alright. Oh, I remember this. That's the life for me. <laughs> that's <laughs> for me. <laughs> that's <laughs> These voices also sound very familiar. It would be wonderful. To go make a pest of myself. You better not be near our peeps. I hear a rhino out here. Rhino. Take a shot every time someone says rhino. I really do hear something. Timber. That's in your seatbelts, kid. For this peach to still be intact is highly unrealistic. <laughs> we just, what, fell into the Atlantic? Somebody pinched me! Thought you were the spider. <laughs> Ouch! Thought you were the centipede. <laughs> How about some light? Can't hear you, dear. I'll have to put my light on. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Aching back. Fascinating, isn't it? The 
big puddle. The Atlantic Ocean. I don't know what's going to bother me more. That centipede's New York accent or the Brits. Nothing but blue skies and clear waters. If it wasn't for me, we'd all be spiked and sponged. Old man with his green things speak to where we are going. Huh? It's the peak. We're going to New York City. New York? They love me there. Do they? Central Park. Nightclubs. <laughs> Not to mention Yankee Stadium. The subway. Not the subway. New York it is then. How do we get there? I'll get us there. I sailed all the five seas. Come a door, centipede. Trim the sails. There are no sails. I can't work with this miserable crew. I know. James, at this point, you're our only hope, bro. We could fly out. It's stupid. He got a stogie that never shrinks. My stogie! Wah! <laughs> Wah! Bird bait. Where do you expect we're gonna find bird bait out here? Anything but birds! I'm right here! <laughs> <laughs> a centipede is tickling a worm. Only in Disney. <laughs> Now you know good and well that string could have snapped that neck. Yeah, it should have. I hear teeth gnashing. Teeth! Rhinoceros! Scientifically impossible. you never seen one. I hear something too. I need more cheeses. Pool of tuna. Stop! What in the Industrial Revolution is this? What do we do? We use Mr. Spider's red bonnet. Wiggle Mr. Earthworm. Our lives depend on it. Let me help you. Find it! It reminds me of, what was the turtle on Rocco's Modern Life? You turn the page, you wash your hands. You turn the page, you wash your hands. You wash your hands. <laughs> Look how that worked out. Spider out here doing the Lord's work with all of this twine, string, and twine. A seagull's neck can lift that big ass peach. Absolutely not. Hooligans? Put your backs into it! Whoa! I'm from Brooklyn! That is a 90s action scene. It's a bomb! Bug on board displayed extraordinary courage. The brilliant plan of James. She got four eyes. Three cheers for James. Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! New York, here we come! Brooklyn, that explains a lot. Why did you leave New York though? Sounds like he was on a ship. Where do you want to keep away from me? You mustn't fight <sighs> yourself like this all the time. When I had a problem, Mum and Dad would tell me to look at it another way. First I was bird bait, then I was shark bait. You're a hero. I'm Wonder Worm. <laughs> Claymation character that already has issues. <laughs> he already has issues. Look at him. Are you sure you know where we're going? It's very hot up here. Oh yeah, this is definitely Tim Burton. <laughs> what happened that bird? I'm dying of hunger. You're on a ship made of food. You'll make the peach lighter and be able to travel further faster. Now look what you've done. We have enough food here for five voyages. A whole ship is made of food. Oh. Takes after me. There is nothing hey. left to take. It's better than aphids. Better than ladybugs. Excuse. <laughs> Don't on yourself. It's the best thing I've ever tasted. I have tasted a lot. Many strange and scrumptious dishes in my time. And y'all give him another song? I'm gonna go get something else to drink. Guess what, fellow freckles? We have some exciting news. Two Freckled Friends now has an official Kofi page. Kofi is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, as well as being able to make donations or contributions. People have been asking us what's the best way to donate to the channel, and you can do that from Kofi. K-O-F-I.com 
forward slash two freckle friends. You can choose any type of donation, whether it's one time or monthly. If you're not able to financially contribute, no worries. Brooke and I are having so much fun making these episodes. We're going to make two freckle friends the biggest, best, baddest show it can possibly be. But if you're feeling generous with that tax refund, <laughs> I'm talking to you, Spanky. The website is Kofi, ko-fi.com forward slash two freckle friends. Again, Kofi.com forward slash two freckle friends. We'll also drop the link in the description below. All right, back to the show. A pinch of grime. Yeah! The pickle spines, a porcupines, and then a great big roast. It comes to you in barrels if you order it by post. Okay, Bridgerton. Y'all ain't know we have food. We got glassware. Recipe. Recipe. She's wearing a hat with flowers on it. Tiny bites. Tiny bites. Y'all gonna be sticky as hell. We had the itis standing up. <laughs> Giving heavyweights. <laughs> you keep yourself, don't you? Prefer to be alone. I was alone for a long time once. I think it's much nicer to have friends. They would be your friends too. It is in their nature to have fear of me. You were the spider in my window. You were my first friend. While she's needing him a bed. She gonna suck his blood too? And I know we cool, but I don't, I don't really trust you that much. <sighs> we know her heart is black, but she a hell of a caretaker. This is really weird. It's like the hungry caterpillar. Get him, sponge. <laughs> Are they up in what, Greenland? Dime store Timmy <gasps> asleep at the helm. Where are we? Somewhere north. Oh, the Titanic. You said you traveled the world. You charlatan! Huh? Blivering idiot. Did you see what he did to me? You asked for it, though. James, pull out the damn map. Where are we, bro? We don't have a compass. We'll never reach New York. Okay, you can shut the hell up. Don't ships have compasses? I see waters would mean certain death. Only a fool would do it. Look at the ice. His head is yams. <laughs> Geronimo! Centipede jumped in. He's committed pesticide. I have to go after him. You'll catch your death of cold. But he's my friend. No, he's not. He's lied. He frauded everybody. Get on my back. I am going with you. Take good care of him. Stay by the line. Fill two tugs. Pull us up. Not the odds. A skeleton? Jackpot. Genuine compass. It's Jack. It is Jack. Jack. And I, Jack, the Pumpkin King. Like you need a little oil, Captain. Sandy Claws. How is James breathing under this icy water? Hey, that one felt pretty good. You've done this before. Paul Bunyan, coming to cut me some slack. Not Paul Bunyan. He's gonna cut me in half! But this is underwater? Ain't nobody dead? Get the compass! Polly, <laughs> wanna smack her? I'ma need you to fucking pull up. Why don't skeletons play music in church? Cause they got no organs. How is James breathing under the water? Oh, thank goodness. Pull this. I am going back. I need more cheesy. I do not know whether to kill you or kiss you. I 
Damn, sorry. My sincere apologies. <laughs> I just... The compass is ready. I admire your bravery. Thank you, Mrs. Ladybug. <laughs> Boy, what I wouldn't do for a cup of coffee. Came to relieve you of your duties. Meow. Good show, yeah. boy. I don't like that position. That is definitely a little teapot, tip me over, pour me out. Tip me over, pour me out. James, I'm gonna need for you to go inside. I don't like you right there either. Allie, this is a weird ass movie. For you saying that as a dark child, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ah oh, yes, another song. The songs aren't that bad though, I'll say that. If I might say so. And if I might say so too. Bitch, you awake? Been waiting for you, boy. Everybody's supposed Are to be fucking awake? asleep. I see stars in the sky. Why are we partying? Family. All of us. And you. As much as we, we love you. Y'all just mad. Love. <laughs> love. <laughs> New York City. There's Lady Liberty. And a boy, Jimmy. Your city awaits us. And a Liberty catch up, Riley. You'll be blown off course. Find up and crazy. <laughs> please, please, nothing. You're obsessed. There, You're obsessed. You're obsessed. Oh, obsessed with what? It's the rhino. So the rhino's been tracking them since London. It got my mom and dad. It won't get my the rhino has to be a metaphor for something. Is it an actual rhino? God almighty. Remember what your parents said? Oh, now you want to be fucking brave? Try looking at it and know the way. You're not even a real rhino. You're the spoken noise. All that work. <coughs> oh, y'all caught up a worm? I'm a real boy. I'm not a puppet. I'm a real boy. Mr. Grasshopper? Where's the Empire State Building? <laughs> oh. There's a boy up there. We got us a huge unidentified object here. Send us the train in New York! The biggest train in New York! This is so excessive. How do I get to the Empire State Building? You're on top of it, kid! Come on, Sonny. Don't be afraid now. I got it. Stay away from the fruit! Why are you here? Ooh, what? Wait, wait, wait! It's okay, little gay. Nobody's gonna hurt you. How? How? Now one motherfucker drowned! <laughs> We are the boy's legal guardians, We've... so we'll just take him home now. Peach. You just happen to have that paperwork with you? This thing is a peach? It's our peach. It's our peach. <sighs> Looks like it's their peach, all right. It's not their peach. The old man gave the green things to me. Come here with us. Luffy. Let the boy speak. Somebody want to tell me how Got we attached it to a hundred seagulls. Miss Spider and the centipede and the old green grasshopper. That's all something he dreamed of. This whole city! Somebody had to dream about it first. I've been listening to him talk and the whole time it's just reminded me of Harry Potter. You liar! You're going home with us. No, I'm not. That's right, James. I hate that house and that cold room. Ooh, that's enough! And how you feed me! Suck on the blue! How dare you speak to us this way! Ah! <laughs> And the cops are just letting this happen. The kid was telling the truth. Get those two creeps out of here! I got a new front page. Big bugs in the big apple. Half pint hero and his peach pit half. <laughs> God bless the colonies. God bless the colonies. The colonies. Y'all stay with confetti on standby. Y'all just eating this nasty ass peach that been in the street. They ate that. 
peach down to the pit. Let it up in Central Park as a permanent home. Dinner is ready. All right, nearly finished. What she cook? What the spider cook? That's a seven figure pit right there. This movie ain't make no damn sense. This here salvation you see. Let's give it a freckle scar. Alrighty, it is time for Brooke and I to give James and the Giant Peach its official freckle score. I'm genuinely confused with what we just watched. So apparently it was a box office failure. What is the plot? What is the purpose? What is the meaning behind any of this? James, he coughs up the little green magic pasta and he turns back into a real boy. None of the other insects coughed up their green pasta and turned back into regular insects. What? What is the reason? of the movie. Sponge and Aunt Spiky, Spiker, how did they come all the way from the UK in their car with flood damage? Got there at the same time that the damn Peach got there. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory at least had an overall message. Little Mermaid had an overall message. This is, I don't know what I learned from this movie. The scenery, the animation, it, it, I don't know. This shit was just weird. I give it 2.25 freckles out of five. Great cast, the vocal talent, the aunt, not necessarily the boy, but James really wasn't supposed to be the most intriguing person even though the name of the book and the movie is James and the Giant Peach. If the aunts weren't there I would be afraid of what this freckle score would be. When you try to take a children's story and stretch Armstrong it, if there's not enough depth there's gonna be more plot holes than New York City potholes. They were inside of a peach and the peach had to sustain them for a cross-continental voyage. For this journey it was a little bit too much fruit, definitely not enough protein. Protein. So my freckle score for James and the Giant Peach is going to be two and a half out of five freckles. Drop your thoughts in the comments if you agree or disagree with our scores. And while you're down there, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that beautiful button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. Just because it's Mark Disney does not guarantee a five freckle score this is a prime example of that, which is a shame. I don't do drugs, but that movie made me interested in trying. To complete just one minute of finished film takes an entire week of animating. Put him up, come on, give me your best shot. Oh, good shot. The cast of James and the Giant Peach is a world-class ensemble of talent, including Academy Award winners Richard Dreyfuss and Susan Sarandon, Jane Leaves from TV's hit show, Frasier, and British comedic actors Simon Callow, David Thewlis, Miriam Margulies, Joanna Lumley from Absolutely Fabulous, and Paul Terry as James. Lovely. 